Hello folks, I'm Ownspack33, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Minish Cap for the Game Boy Advance. Last time we were on Mount Crenel, or Crenel, or Crenel, I don't know. <laughs> and we were, uh, yeah, we were traversing it, uh, trying to get to the top, trying to find Malari, who's going to forge our sword back together, the broken uh, Picori blade. Let's take out this guy here. Uh, the reason we're coming over here as a Minish, uh, there's something actually at the end here. Let's roll. Get my face. Oh, you can suck these guys in, I think. Nope. Completely wrong. So you want to go to, like, this green water, which looks absolutely disgusting, but you want to get some of it in your bottle. So, yeah. You need, uh, you'll need this. The game doesn't tell you you need it right now, but, uh, you do need it, or else we're coming back here. Uh, I forgot. <laughs> I keep forgetting. I need to write notes before I, uh, make videos. Uh, I can't remember. No, I don't want to go. No, oh, well, I guess we'll go through here. We could just jump down. Someone mentioned that, uh, I was talking about Kinstones last episode, because we got Kinstone. We got the Kinstone bag. Uh,. I said they dropped from enemies, well someone mentioned that they only the green ones will drop from enemies. And green ones I guess are the least rare of them too. Alright, in here is actually something we want. I hit this guy. Speak speak to him. He's gonna sell us bombs, which I really need, so and I think there was a Kinstone fusion with him. I think there was a little thingy above his head. Yeah. Oh but I don't have any. <laughs> So I guess I'm not fusing, but that's something to remember. But yeah, I was short on bombs, and I got some. So we're good. Wait for that to blow up. Come on. Alright, now we got some keys. I think I showed this off when I first got the gush jar, but you can just suck these guys in. <laughs> and they, they just vanish. It's like the Ghostbusters, like the proton packs. <laughs> Suck it in ghosts, but this time we're sucking in bats. Alright, but we're actually gonna need the gust jar uh, for these guys here. Yeah, okay. And you suck in their masks. And once you suck in their masks, then you can attack them from the front. Or you just attack them from behind. Whatever you wanna do. And you can suck them in and shoot them. So the gust jars are super effective against these guys. Taken down with one hit. Alright, let's take away these red shoes here. So oh, silly of me. Oh, hey. Just tell everything. Look, I was gonna obviously jump into this whirlwind here. You didn't have to say anything there, as Ezlil. There we go. You should say something after, like, ooh, that was a, that was a doozy. Or, I don't know. <laughs> something Ezlo related. Uh, I don't think there's even anything at the end here. Oh, yeah, there definitely is. There's definitely a bombable wall. Anything in it? We'll find out. They don't even bother to crack the wall. They just, they like, assume that you know that would be a bombable. Uh, what we want to do here is you want to bomb all of these. And underneath one of them, you're going to get some bombs. So there you go. I didn't mean to plant that. There's 50 rupees there. And there's a kinstone piece. And there's a piece of heart. Heart piece number five, I think. Let's just put the shield on. I'll probably have to pull out the gush jar, so I don't know why I put the shield on. I never use it here, I'll defend against this guy. So come on, jump into my shield. Oh, he just jumps over it. But yeah, I'm probably gonna you see I need the gush jar, like right now. They make you use these items a lot. Alright. Oh, and there's a little thingy under there. Let's kill these guys. Those guys would be more of a threat if we were minish size. Crazy, there's all these small holes that I could be in. I wonder... Oh man, there's a secret there! <laughs> How crazy is that? <laughs> yeah, that's pretty obvious. There's a couple secrets here. Uh, in here, I think is like a minish house, yeah. With a, uh, kinstone piece in it, which is nice. Alright. 
blue greens, the blue beans grow with regular water, but the green ones need the mineral water, which we already found. So that's good. Uh, there's also another, there's a hole up there. I, I can't remember if there's anything good in it. I think it might just be like a kinstone piece in here. But you have to go through this dungeon to get to it. And here's these flies that we saw. Someone was saying these were pea hats, but I don't think so because I know there's actual pea hats in this game. Unless those are like different kinds of pea hats. But I could be mistaken. There are definitely enemies that I rec like that I know are called pea hats. <laughs> and we haven't seen them yet. I don't think. But they exist. They're there eventually. I don't think it was the same person who it might have been the same person who said the green kinstones. Uh like if you if you notice anything I say is wrong or whatever you want to give me some advice, do let me know. By the time I record my next episode, I will remember to start giving credit where it's due and start uh, you know mentioning people. Uh, but we have to go through get out my way. Let's go through here. Rocking and rolling. And then watch Link super dragged. Just picks up this bean like it's nothing. I thought when I first played this, I thought you just used the water on it. I didn't realize you had to bring it out here. But you do. You throw it in there. Alright. Now we go back to uh, regular Link here. Isn't that fun? Come face. Yes, I'm talking to you, inanimate dust object on ground. Alright, let's use the mineral water. It's kind of funny how we got this as a uh, Minish Link here, or Odin. And now we're using it as regular size. I always found that, like, really cool. Like, Gust Jar, like, we found this when we were small, too. But it translates, it, it grows in size with us. Isn't that convenient? <laughs> well, I guess if... <laughs> we wouldn't really be able to use a lot of things if that wasn't the case, right? And I think there's something here. Yeah. I don't know if there's anything anything good. I'm gonna find out. I destroyed a sign. Yeah, there's a heart piece. Sweet. Heart pieces are good. Someone, uh, okay, this is once again, someone was saying I could have had four hearts before I finished the first dungeon. If that's the case, is it something I could have gotten already? Like, have I already gotten the heart piece that I could have gotten, or did I skip it? Because if I don't want to skip anything, uh, so if you remember who you are, let me know. Because uh, I would like to try to at least get all the heart pieces, and I know that means getting all the figurines, which doesn't really appeal to me. But hey, I, I wouldn't mind doing it. The first time I completed this, I didn't 100% it. So I wouldn't mind trying on the second time, because I kind of know where I'm going a little bit. Let's get these guys up. Okay, you, you want to dodge my my pots? Then, okay, I want to plant bombs now, which I don't actually want to. Oh man, pick up the... See, you can use the R button to open treasure chests. But instead, I'm like, no, I'm going to press the A button because I'm a rebel. And I always have the bombs at the A. And then stuff like that happens. All right. Let's plant a bomb here, and then uh, we'll open one of these pots up. Or we don't even have to do that. Uh, you can stun these guys with a uh, spin slash here. Yeah. Just like that. In my face. Mount Crenel is like a mini dungeon, I find. And, like, there's no boss or dungeon map or anything like that, but, I mean, it's really long to get to the top. It almost feels like a dungeon. There isn't as many dungeons in this game as there are in other Zelda games, but, uh, this makes, like, areas like this really add to add to the game, adds to its length and all that other jazz. Alright, uh... To, there's a pea hat See, that's a pea hat But, uh... 
There's an item in here that we're gonna get, and then we're gonna end the episode. Get on my face, please. I'm just gonna throw this. Oh, wow, I killed him with the bomb throw. <laughs> Check out that innovation. I didn't even know you could do that. Alright. Grip ring is perfect for yourself. You need 40 rupees to buy it, and you need this to beat the game. Next time, we will use the grip ring to get further up the mountain. But uh, this is the end of Minish Cap for today. I've been Ownspec33. Thank you for watching.